how to buy a house in Wichita, Kansas in 2022. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, first, before we get into all that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff, depending on which platform you're on. And without all that, we're going to get into it. I'm just going to share the screen, start talking about the important, relevant stuff, none of the fluff. Um, so first, there's a couple things we go over when we start talking to people about how to buy a home. Um, first one is going to our website. If you just go to the homepage here, um, you'll kind of see our general location. You're going to have the videos popped up, some of these things. But where you want to go for buying a house is under here under the buy slash build section. And you go to how do I buy a home? So if you ever need to reference this again, you can see it. Um, but we're going to break this complex process down as simply as possible. Um, walk you through this if you've never done it before and also give you some insights if you have done this before what's winning right now to get a house in this market because it's not enough to just know the process of how to buy a house in 2022 a very important part of this is how to win the house in 2022 not just how to buy one like most realtors understand the process but it's how to win the home that actually is what's uh, the advantage or not um, you know just because somebody has a license or just got their license doesn't mean they know how to win how to be aggressive what it takes to really win being an agent that sees both sides of the equation of being on the seller side, seeing a lot of what are these buyers are doing, and then also being a buyer's agent myself, I get a lot of perspective on what wins and what doesn't. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this six step process. Um, depending on how far you wanna go into it, this goes into super detail on a bunch of different things on it, but I'm gonna go over just the brief overview. The six different like steps that we broke it down to for uh, how to buy a home in 2022. The very first one that you got to consider is how you're going to pay for it. Typically, this is financing for like 99% of people. Um, so obviously, you want to go get pre-qualified. We have a link through janiecar.com. Actually, I'll show you how easy that is to go check that out if you haven't already. Many people, smartly, are going to the financing route first to make sure that we understand um, where our finances are at and What's going with that? So if you go to janiecar.com, it'll take you to this front page. Go to apply with Janie. Um, put in my name for better referral rate, um, or sorry, put Ben Meyer in there as a referral source for better rates and service. And that way you get the best um, rates, service from all that. Here's Janie. Um, you can do it low bowl, what have you. Trying to make this as easy as possible on everything. But you go through here. It's about a 50 minute process to get pre qualified with Janie Carr. She's a, a local lender with the national company, so you get the best of both worlds. She's been doing this for a long time. She's great, she's reliable, she's responsive, just like we are. Um, so that's one of your first steps. There's your personal cell phone too, you can call that number. Um, but the first step is setting up your financing and figuring out what type of loan product are we gonna be. Are we gonna be VA, FHA, conventional? And then this is what you wanna ask every lender and everything you're considering out there. What's the interest rate? And what's the fees that go with this? Because that's how all the lenders make their money and what you need to be considering with that. The other thing you need to ask them is how much closing costs are you going to require either me to pay or the seller to pay in order to uh, buy a house? And so that way you know how much you're going to have to cover. So like if it's a $200,000 house, approximately six grand is what you're going to have to cover. Typically just knowing this off the top of my head just to account for. Uh, the other thing to account for that is if you're FHA, on a $200,000 house, the lowest you can go down, percentage down is 3.5% down, which would be 7,000 on a $200,000 house. Um, so obviously we gotta have some cash in hand for this financing piece. Um, the other side of your financing piece is, what do you want your monthly payment to be? And from there we can reverse engineer it of uh, like what price point of houses you need to stay below. So if you're like, I don't want my monthly payment to be any more than let's say $1,000 a month, um, depending on the house and the loan product, um, we'd be looking at somewhere around 140, 150, and you don't really want to go any higher than that or else your payment's going to go up. Um, so that gives you an idea. Like once you tell us, here's what my monthly payment is I can afford, we can back that out and see what price point we need to start looking at. But once we got a lot of those things squared away with your financing and those uh, conversations we need to have about what price point, what size of home do you need? Um, that kind of thing. Then you want to get into the fun part, which is consulting and touring homes. And we do a lot of this online digitally before we ever go look at the houses in person. Um, and that's where we really shine on our side of things. We're very responsive, available, uh, knowledgeable when it comes to these houses you're looking at online. And a lot of times we're consulting like this through a video call 
uh, especially for reloads we do a lot of, um, and even people in town will do, you know, a lot of at distance remote consulting with people. Um, really the only time you go to see a house anymore is now it's, is to consider offering on it. Um, we don't really like run around and show a bunch of houses. We do about three at a time. Um, and then at each one of those, we're like, what do you like? What do you not like about it? Do you want to offer on it? Scale of zero to 10. And then as you look at them, we look at them, we get more of an idea of, um, you know, what you're, what you're wanting in a house and that kind of thing. Um, and so we'll look at them through your account online here too. Um, so this gives you an idea of like the back end account of a lead that we have set up. Right now we got them just generically set up. When you sign up on our website, you're going to get set up on a generic website or generic search like this for 100 to 350 in all of which to hire until one of us reaches out, either our support staff or as agents and asks like, hey, do you want to refine that? Can we narrow that in? What's your timeline so we're not bothering you? Because we do reach out and are there for you, but we don't want to you know, bother you, annoy you, or spam you, or any of that stuff. Um, we are pretty aggressive because we have to be in this market in order to win, and we're not here to bother you. We're just here to provide really great customer service. The way we do that is by getting your home search set up unique, specific to you and your criteria. And so that way, when a house comes up, so like this one, the 150, we go newest switch to homes for DJ, uh, send alert immediately. We can change these to be instant. So like it can come out, like literally as soon as the house comes out, you see it. And this is how we're getting on these houses so fast and coaching people um, to be ready for when that right house comes up, we're on it. It's like same day, next day. You don't really have the opportunity to wait around and sit around and like, well, I'm going to go look at it later. I'll be like, well, once I find the house, once I see the house I like, then I'll go get pre-qualified, sit down with the realtor too late. You got to be pre-qualified working with the realtor and wait for the house to pop up so that you're seeing it same day, next day. You see, if you're waiting for the right house, it's going to be too late with everything. So the sooner you talk to us, the better, the, the better this is going to go on everything. Um, but this is how we get property alerts sent out to you. So we'll both consult with you online with these but then also obviously in person we'll go do the showings uh, check out the foundation the roof the mechanicals all the major big things about it make sure nothing's wrong with it and when we're showing homes and doing that we work on a text and personal cell phone basis so you're going to have direct access to us so consulting and touring homes that's kind of how we take a look at it um, sometimes it might take you three four or five offers to get a house in this market so bear with me don't fall in love with the house until you get it under contract and even then not until you get it closed. Um, so speaking of that, when we get to step three with there's offers and we come across the house and we're like, all right, I like this one, let's offer on it. Um, from there, um, we're gonna call the listing agent and say, um, you know, how many offers you have? When's the deadline? And what's most important to the seller to consider you know, when offering or coming to this house? Because the thing is as a buyer, um, typically in this market, um, you're trying to appease the seller to take your offer. Um, so we really can't be romantic or naive or have an ego about this. We got to work out a deal that's appealing to the seller. So we want to know what is important to the seller so we can craft our offer the best because the win in this market is getting a house. And here's specifically why everybody who bought a house last year on average in America, their homes appreciated by 56,000. So everybody who bought a house last year made 56,000. They're predicting that over the next five years, there'll be 111,000 more appreciation going on. So if you don't buy a house, you don't get a partake in that appreciation. That's the opportunity cost of not getting the house. So when you're seeing people paying 10, 15, $20,000 over in Wichita, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so much money. It's really not when you start to look at like one we just recently got under contract. It was listed at 188, we escalated to 208, ended up having to just go to 205 to get the house. But the thing is all the houses in that market were selling for 90 to $110 a square foot. They had it priced to $88 a square foot to start. And we ended up coming in about $104 a square foot. So we were still within the market, even though we paid overpaid and paid over their asking price, we didn't overpay for the home because it's within the market. Cause obviously these got to appraise. And so it's gotta be possible with that situation. So that gives you an idea of that house. Um, we paid our own closing costs on that one. We went that far over to get the house and it was a three bed, two bath house at like 13th and Woodlawn area. So it wasn't anything like crazy. It was what's now considered a good starter home in Wichita. Because so one thing you may not know about Wichita is that two years ago, the average price point was 160000 Now it's 210000 It's either 210 or 215 I have to look at it again. But either way, it increased by almost 50000 more than 50000 in a matter of two years. Like that's a big deal for Wichita. Part of that is because of COVID and everything else. The other part of it is just because Wichita real estate has been undervalued for a long time and it's finally catching up. 
on everything. So when it comes time to put in an offer, we're going to help you consider those three things. We'll also pull comps on it, like, like I was talking about, knowing the market. So that way you're making a really smart, a really informed, solid offer instead of like winging it and just like emailing an offer over like I see a lot of these agents do. Like you got to call the agent, work the deal, like which is what we do and how you really want to work with an agent that knows how to win a deal, not just like, oh, how do I buy a home? Because I'm showing you how to buy a home, but I also want to show you some higher level stuff of like how to win a home, not just how to buy one. So uh, once you get your offer accepted, um, there's a few cash outlays you need to expect here. Earnest money on a house of this size, about $1,000 would be required here, and that goes towards your down payment. Once you get your offer executed, we distribute to everyone like the title company, the lending company, um, whoever else needs to see it for our records for compliance and everything starts to get to processing because from contract to close in Kansas is about 30 to 45 days. Typically, depending on your loan product, seller situation, your schedule, all those type of things. And again, we'll discuss that uh, when it comes time to offer on these um, situations. So the next piece after that is your inspection period. And this is a little bit of like your second negotiating point. If you get one, if you didn't buy the house as is, because sometimes People will take a lower offer if you buy the house as is. That's where our construction background uh, comes in play, where we're looking at the roof, looking at the foundation, make sure, making sure the mechanicals are good, all the big major ticket items. So that if you do have to buy a house as is, you still got peace of mind knowing like, okay, there's, I don't see anything major, so we can go ahead and do this one as is. If anything comes up in the inspection report, like we can address it. It's also why we get home warranties on houses, because it'll cover any of your big major ticket items. Um, provided they're not already known to be defective or, or what have you, but that's where we'll, we'll dig through it on that situation. But, and when we go to the houses, we can only look at them visually. We can't test them, which is what the inspector does. And so the step four of inspections is where they'll come in and do a general inspection, a termite inspection. You can also get a sewer scope inspection if you want to get the sewer line scoped and also radon gas if you want to um, test for radon. Google radon, you'll see what it's about. Some people are concerned about it, some are not. It's more of a preference thing not an immediate health threat, known to be a long-term carcinogen, but do some research on that. If you do want that, we can do that. But after the inspection period, uh, we'll meet the inspector on site, look at the report with him and go over what he found, address anything that we had any concerns about um, when we were looking at the house. And then from there, we'll either ask for money off, um, ask for repairs, or potentially walk away from the deal, those three things. Um, and we'll kind of negotiate back and forth in good faith with the buyer or with the seller in order to work a deal out. Um, this is where our negotiating construction skills come in to be able to work things through and what things cost and all the different moving parts there. Once you get past the inspection and uh, repair request negotiation piece, then you have probably the most pain in the butt part of this whole process that most people don't realize is how painful it can be to get all the documents and every disclosure and anything that underwriting needs into the lending company. Yes, I know it's annoying you got to get them your, your W-2s. Yes, I know it's annoying you got to get them your bank statements, a letter of explanation, or a promissory note, and all these things that like you got to turn in your documents and you have to do it. And it's every lender does this and there's going to be new things they find that they want to hear about. So if you get annoyed in this process, understand this is everyone going through this. It's not just you. Um, and it's an annoying process, but it's what's, what we got to do. And it's also what keeps our economy healthy because they didn't do a bunch of this in 08 and that's what ended up crashing the economy, which we're not doing that again. That's why you should feel very confident in where we're at on everything because it's harder to ever get a loan now. So to get a loan, you really have to like be legit. You can't just get a signature loan like you used to. Um, so once you get through the underwriting process, you're good to go. Um, you got the appraisal that comes with too, that has to meet value and it has to meet conditions. Um, and that's gonna be about 475 is about what they're running right now. So that's another cash outlay to expect. And your inspection can be anywhere from 300 to 500 to 700, depending on how much inspection you get. And again, we'll consult you on that. I just want you to plan for how much cash you need from your down payment to your closing costs, to the inspections, to appraisal, to buy a house. So you do have to have some cash to buy a house. It's a great investment. It works out long-term over time. It's very safe, which is why so many people have been buying them lately like crazy because in times of turmoil, people buy safe certain things. Houses are safe and certain. And then closing day. This is the fun part. This is where you bring the rest of your funds. Um, you sign the papers. The house is yours. It's officially in your name. You get the utilities turned on. You get the keys, all that. Um, and it's officially yours like at that point. 
And that's where you bring your down payment money, all that fun stuff. I'll probably bring some champagne, one of those really cool home signs that you see me put out there. Uh, we'll make it a big deal and it'll be fun. And this, and honestly to us, this is where, it's not where our job ends. This is where our job starts because we view you guys as clients for life. We want to help you out, not just with this one buy, but we want to help you out when it's time to sell it and move and your friends and your family and everyone else. And we look at this as, um, you know, a career and a long-term like lifetime client situation, not just like, Hey, thanks for the sale. Wham, bam. See you later. Like we want to do what's right by you. Even if that means not selling you a house and you not buying a house. Um, cause at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's not about how much money we make and the commissions and all that. It's about how can we service you as the client best, which is what we're really passionate about here is really improving the service experience that buyers get uh, from realtors combined with, you know, upscale digital marketing, kind of like what Zillow showed us consumers want even more. So, you know, give us a shot when it comes time to buy a house um, and kind of experience what it's like to work with us from our team model, um, from a very customer service oriented model, human centered model on everything. Um, and hopefully this video has kind of shown you like we go above and beyond to give, give, give first, um, educate, make sure you're really informed because especially to, like these days, like there's so much information on the internet and it's like, who do you believe? Do you listen, listen to Dave Ramsey? Do you listen to Grant Cardone? They have both have different theories. I'm more confused than ever. And our job is to help you make smart decisions within real estate. And our attitude is the more educated you are, the more knowledgeable, knowledgeable you are, the better, because you can make better decisions and make, and make clear decisions, which is why we put so much time and attention into developing this process for you to understand, to have a better experience, and obviously for the result to go better for us too. So um, hopefully this has helped you learn a little bit more how buying a house in 2022 works. Um, there's kind of some general overview nuggets there for you first time home buyers. For any of you people that have bought before, maybe you're not familiar, Kansas, you're a relo, somebody coming in out of town. Hopefully this helps explain a little bit how Kansas works. You know, obviously if you need more um, personal, individualized consulting for your specific situation, go ahead and sign up on our website, wichitahomehero.com, or uh, send me a message directly. We can get to talking and go from there. But appreciate you watching as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.